This tag team match is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the NEW Tag Team Championship. Please welcome to the ring first, the challengers. Here we go, our second of three title matches on the evening. The challengers making their way to the ring. State of emergency, it's Miles DeVille and Sebastian Wolf. This match a lot of people have been looking forward to for a long time. These two, state of emergency, they are dangerous alone, but devastating together. Now, interesting enough, they are accompanied by their legal counsel, Christopher Cassidy, but also the general manager of NEW, Alex Plexus. Have to wonder how that will work in the favor of the men who go by SOE here this evening. Hard to have much more of an advantage than the commissioner working in your corner. But speaking of an advantage, here come the NEW Tag Team Champions, accompanied by Squamish Roadkill? Amish Roadkill? <laughs> Mr. Ferguson, it is the wise men, Billy Swade and Tony Baroni. He might be Squamish Roadkill after that anti-reggae stances that he took earlier this evening. But we don't have our accountant here this evening. Taryn from accounting, not on the show tonight. It is tax season. So she can't tell us exactly what the, uh, the underwriter is on an insurance policy like Mr. Ferguson. I think the wise man could probably claim him as a dependent, I believe. I believe so, yes. <laughs> Maybe you need two managers in your corner when the opposition has Mr. Ferguson in theirs. Now, call me crazy, but Alex Plexus hasn't exactly been doing a lot of general managing uh, with NEW. So far, he seems to be more interested in settling old grudges. Yes. Well, Power, power goes to the head. Absolute power corrupts absolute. That's what they say, right? Also a tribute to the uh, Corey Hart dynasty, wearing his sunglasses indoors at night here. It's not as though Alex Plexus needed absolute power to be corrupted absolutely either. He was uh, more than 80% of the way there, I believe. He's got high school hall monitor written all over him. This is a showdown between two teams where I'm curious to see what the rooting interest will be, Jordan, as the match works its way towards the conclusion because both of these teams have spent the entirety of their time in Nation Extreme Wrestling antagonizing the crowd, antagonizing the beloved heroes who do their work in that ring. Not Neither team a favorite is what I'm trying to say. No, very evenly matched as well. Been teaming for a long time, both of these teams. Really interesting to see, yeah, which direction the crowd uh, the crowd heads here. Do we see some... <laughs> reluctant appreciation, perhaps, of the wise men. And everything that they have done holding those NEW Tag Team Championships. Or is this crowd ready to see new champions crowned? We will find out in just a matter of moments. And let's not forget, with all this great talent you see in the ring, you've also got the X Factor out there with Mr. Ferguson, the Y Factor with Christopher Cassidy, and the Z Factor with uh, Alex Plexus there. A lot of uh, extra external factors in this match. Of course, there is a fourth member of the Wise Men as well. That is our NEW champion, Travis Williams. He has a huge test ahead of him tonight as he will take on Anton Alexiev in our main event for the Nation Extreme Wrestling Championship. Very early this match devolving into a brawl. Not surprising knowing the teams that are involved. And that is something of the home turf of State of Emergency. 
as we mentioned earlier, had one hell of a brawl in the show opener back at NEW5 against Reloaded. Spent the first 10 minutes, it felt like, of that match on the outside of the ring and looked very comfortable in doing it. And that was the win that got them this opportunity at the NEW Tag Team Titles. Absolutely, a number one contenders match that State of the Magazine won the setup this match here tonight. But right now it's the champions on the advantage. Though as I say that, State of Emergency has them backed against each other. As there's some classic teamwork from two guys who've worked together for a good many years. There's a reason why they hold those championship belts as the wise men just sent Sebastian Wolf spilling out to the floor with a pair of twin lariats and seemed poised to send Miles DeVille out after him. Wise men starting this tag title reign back all the way at NEW2 and a multi-man match which also featured State of Emergency. Tag titles were the first championships handed out here in Nation Extreme Wrestling. And a pair of diving suicidas from Suede and Baroni in the early going to put the wise men on the advantage. And as much as these fans do not like Christopher Cassidy, do not like Alex Plexus, maybe don't even like State of Emergency, I think they hate Mr. Ferguson more than anything. As SOE finds themselves in unfamiliar territory, get some cheers from this crowd. Wise man once said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that might be what state of emergency are to these fans here tonight. These two teams have been on a collision course these last several months here at NEW. Let's not forget that time in the chase for the championship tournament in order to get fellow wise man Travis Williams to the top of the mountain. These two folks got involved in Sebastian Wolf and Miles DeVille's matches in that tournament. I'm sure they have not forgotten that they've waited for this opportunity for a long time. And in helping Travis Williams climb to the top of the mountain, the wise men may have made some enemies that will knock them off their perch as tag team champions. What a maneuver. Taking Tony Baroni off of his feet. And Jordan, I didn't catch it. Did we see Baroni down his brandy snifter before the match? I don't think we did. I think he's maybe focused on taking State of Emergency more seriously than he has any team they've faced so far. He may be at something of a disadvantage then as well as that's the fuel in the tank that has powered this tag team reign. As now some stiff kicks from Baroni and tandem offense from Swade as well. Too sweet from Mr. Ferguson, who has both tag belts draped over his shoulder as we speak. Closest he's coming to any championship gold after coming up short in the uh, Canadian gauntlet match earlier. Mr. Ferguson, of course, uh, was in the mix in that chase for the championship himself. He got knocked off by Elliot Tyler. They renewed hostilities this evening as well. And we may see them renew them before too long once more as I believe they have a street fight planned for the Commodore Ballroom a few short months from now. Somehow I feel they're destined to do this forever. It's Baroni able to take Sebastian Wolf off of his feet. And that is saying something when you look at a man who has the power of Wolf and the determination as well. Sebastian Wolf talking on Twitter not that long ago after Hunter Hearst Helmsley announcing his retirement from in ring competition that Triple H's book making the game a huge influence on Wolf as he learned a lot about weightlifting and making the man you see before you here tonight Ooh. from reading that book. And that's the power of the game in that big spear from Wolf that just sent Billy Swade out to the floor. I think spearing someone through the ropes was chapter four of that uh, book, I believe. Oh, what a wow. shooting star crossbody from Miles DeVille. Miles DeVille, who might be 
the best all-around in-ring worker in this company. When you put it all together, the things that this guy can do. Absolutely tremendous athlete. He had an absolute barnstormer match against Daniel Maccabe back at NEW2. One of my favorite matches ever in this company. We always talk about that during his matches, of course, Jordan. We also talk about the fact that he, he wrestled that match not long after returning from Mexico, a student of the game, continuing to learn new things. What we haven't mentioned is who he was learning from when he was down south of the border. A name you might recognize. In fact, a name that challenged for the Ring of Honor World Championship less than one week ago as we speak. And that is Bandito, who is no slouch in that ring and has taught Miles DeVille quite a lot as far as what we have seen from him in the last few months. DeVille now working heavy boots into the gut. And that's the thing, you may not like State of Emergency, but you have to respect them. They are students of the game, as you say. They are working on getting better and better with each match we see them. Is tonight their night? We'll find out as now some underhanded tactics from Christopher Cassidy as he's chased off by Mr. Ferguson. And the NEW general manager, called him the commissioner earlier, it's a similar position. Making sure that Mr. Ferguson stays on his side of the ring. Maybe that's why the GM is out here, Jordan, to keep this match under control. That's the case. I don't think he would have come out with one team and not the other. You probably would. I saw a hug or two, I think, as well between them, so. It's now Sebastian Wolf looks to take the upper hand. Wrenching the arms of Billy Swade as he drags him back into his corner. State of Emergency doing a wonderful job right now of cutting the ring in half. It feels like Billy Swade has been out there for quite a while. Not able to reach the corner of his partner as Tony Baroni crawls under the ropes and will have to break up that pin to keep the match going. You have to wonder if it was part of their strategy to also neutralize Billy Swade, who's the quicker of the two wise men and a natural striker, but might not be as durable as the tank that is Tony Baroni. Chop from Swade, a knee to the gut now from DeVille, who will send Swade into the turnbuckle, but won't go for the tag and walk him over to the opposite turnbuckle now. Shoulder to the gut, and now DeVille looking for a tag. In comes Sebastian Wolf. Some tandem offense. Billy able to get his feet up and fight out of this one as now this crowd who had found themselves reluctantly cheering for state of emergency now liking what they're seeing from Billy Swade. And a tandem suplex with a Enzigiri kick as well. Nice double team offense from State of Emergency, but this match will continue. Swade able to get the shoulder up at two. Feel like we're always seeing a new move or two in the, in the repertoire of State of Emergency every single time they step between those ropes. Let's not forget that incredible uh, Tower of Doomsday device, which they used to put away Reloaded at NEW5, a move I had never seen before. It's DeVille taking the opportunity to talk some trash in the direction of Tony Baroni. Sebastian Wolf better stay focused on what's going on in the ring. He's talking trash with the audience right now. And the quick, vicious, naturally gifted striker, Billy Swade, taking it to Miles DeVille, trying to get the advantage back for the wise men in this match. And you know what, Jordan? Brian Danielson was right. These fans are fickle. Fickle! <laughs> Listen to them cheer for the wise men now just seconds after they were firmly rooting for State of Emergency. But they want to see Billy make that tag to Baroni. Can he get to the corner? Feels like he's been in this match for 10 minutes. It seems as though State of Emergency have made about 20 tags since the wise men were able to get one, and now in comes Baroni. A long time coming, able to duck out of a clothesline from Wolf, and big strikes from Tony, sending his opponents reeling into the corner. Running out with a running leap. Take, 
DeVille's head off with a lariat. Ducks out of the way of a kick from Sebastian Wolf and cover after that spine buster, but Wolf able to kick out. Great ring awareness from Tony Baroni floating over after that spine buster to get right into that pinning predicament. And now back comes Billy Swade. No rest for the wicked, and he sure is that. Oh, they're looking for the wise maker. And again, it's that power we were talking about that you can thank Triple H for if you're a fan of what you're seeing right now. Ooh, from Sebastian Wolf, who I believe just got spat in the face. Big left jabs from Billy Swade here. Wolf shaking it off. Swade going for that springboard in Siguri, maybe one time too many. Pop up spine buster. Wow. And <laughs> And his spine sprung up off that mat from the spine buster a lot harder than it did off the ropes just seconds ago as he slipped up looking for that elbow. And this is the same Billy Swade we've seen take the majority of the damage in this match. Oh, referee Jaden having conversation with Mr. Ferguson over there. Sebastian Wolf looking to strike Billy Swade with the title belt. Swade reverses. Wasn't able to do so, and now it's Billy with a shoulder right into the face of Wolf. Had that championship belt draped over it as he hit him. And now he'll kiss the gold. In comes Miles DeVille. He'll kiss it again, but not the way he wanted to. DeVille kicking that belt right into the face of Billy Swade. And now he drags his unconscious partner over the body of Billy Swade. Referee Jaden back in the ring. And oh my god, the pinfall broken up by Mr. Ferguson. Mr. Ferguson getting a referee Jaden's face. Jaden has had enough. He has tossed Mr. Ferguson out of this match. And you know why? That's the same referee who got beaten up earlier by Reloaded, and he doesn't want to take any more abuse the rest of the evening here. He's going to make sure he doesn't take anything more, in fact, from Mr. Ferguson, who's out of this thing. And Billy was out just a second ago, but the lights are on as he's able to kick out. So the thing about this is the wise men have just lost their backup while State of Emergency has retained theirs. This match has more insurance policies than a film set, Jordan. <laughs> As you can hear, this crowd doesn't know here who to root for. They seem split 50-50 down the middle as far as who they want to take this thing. And both men are reeling. Sebastian Wolf and Billy Swade having both been recipients of belt shots during that last referee distraction. And well, he will let him make the tag because he needs to take one of himself. Straps are coming down from Tony Baroni. It's getting serious now. Hard forearms from both these men. And you know that Tony Baroni means business as he's got the straps down on his singlet. Uncle Daddy. Being put in the corner by Miles DeVille, who is looking to go up. Springboard Hurricane Rana perhaps is what DeVille had planned, but instead he's on the shoulders of Tony Maroney, and what an impact. An avalanche Death Valley driver from Tony Baroni, and this crowd is firmly behind the wise men right now. This is unbelievable. And we saw Baroni have to get in the ring to break up a pin attempt not that long ago, Jordan. Similar tactics from Sebastian Wolf now, who not only broke up the pin, but dragged his partner back into the corner so he could tag himself in. Wolf locking up the waist of Tony Baroni, who's able to fight his way out of it with some elbows and a spinning kick before he makes the tag to Billy Swade. And in comes Swade, who tells Tony to stick around because let's work together with this thing. Little tandem offense is, oh no! They were looking for a little sliced bread in the middle of the ring instead. 
with some assistance from State of Emergency, Tony Baroni just power bombed his own partner, and this could be curtains for the wise men. Wolf going for the cover. And somehow Billy Swade able to find just that last notch in the gas tank to get the shoulder up. And you're seeing here at the late stages, even though he was laying right next to them, Tony Baroni not able to roll over to break up that pin. That was all Billy Swade resilience. As Baroni laid out in the corner, Swade laid out in the middle of the ring. No Mr. Ferguson, and we talked about the fact Travis Williams did not accompany the wise men out as he's got his own match to look forward to tonight. Is this the end of the reign of the wise men? State of Emergency looking for that Doomsday device again. Shades of the Legion of Doom. As now Miles DeVille sent tumbling to the floor. Yes. And up go both wise men looking for a double superplex on Wolf, but Sebastian able to fight his way out of it. And Miles DeVille tags in. What are we gonna see here? Oh my God. Had that hit, this match would be over. I don't even know what to call that. That was a moonsault attempt off the shoulders of his partner as the wise men send Sebastian Wolf off the top turnbuckle with a spear into the gut of DeVille. And my, how the tables have turned. Wise men looking for that wise maker again. They hit it. Cutter from Swade off the wise maker and DeVille just able to shove Baroni into the pile and break up that pin attempt. We talk about the veteran awareness, but sometimes it's the desperation play when you have no idea what's going to happen, as Miles DeVille just showed right there is the move to make. This sold out crowd here at NEW6 rewarding these guys with a this is awesome chant, and unbelievably, it is. Swade and Baroni. An Irish whip, but Wolf able to hook his arms underneath the rope and stay put as there goes his partner, Miles DeVille, a suicida to the floor. And back comes DeVille. Schoolboy from Swade. And the resiliency of DeVille to get that shoulder up. Kick attempt. Swade able to duck out of the way, but DeVille catches him on the second try. Rolling cravat face buster from Miles DeVille. And that is that veteran awareness from Billy Swade, who had nothing left but just enough to kick that foot towards the ropes. See, now we're going to see from State of Emergency, do they have what it takes to be champions? Can Miles DeVille rally after that incredible disappointment that that move didn't put away Billy Swade and win the tag team titles? It is a miracle that either of these teams have anything left in the tank right now. We have seen some devastating offense in both directions. As DeVille with a disrespectful shove to the face. And that'll fire up Swade with some strikes going the other way. Swade going for that springboard in Seguri again. Actually turning it into a lariat that time as DeVille going for a suitcase shot instead. Had that reversed with an Inziguri from Billy Swade. Keep your eyes on Sebastian Wolf outside the ring with the NEW Tag Team title belt. Again, no Mr. Ferguson. As DeVille gets pushed out of the way by Wolf. Oh, that Wolf could be it. Lays the shot with the belt. And we have new tag team champions. State of Emergency have you done it. Match, wow. Team, tag team champions, State of Emergency. That is what the guidance of a manager like Christopher Cassidy can do, Jordan. These men were near the bottom of the standings in this company when they joined forces with Cassidy. He has guided them all the way to the top of the mountain. Your new tag team champions in Nation Extreme Wrestling, Sebastian Wolf and Miles DeVille. Those titles are now officially property of the state.
perhaps Alex Flexus was out here to present the uh, tag team title belts to whoever happened to win. Fortunately, it was the team he also accompanied to the ring. Uh, I like that we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Well, he deserves to. it. He signs the checks, Justin. <laughs> That's true. And as I mentioned, we have an absolutely stacked tag team division here in NEW, but after everything you just saw, you have to ask yourself, who has what it takes to take the belts from these men now that they have them? Will it be the Illa Tribe? Will it be Reloaded? Will it be the Voros Twins next in line for a shot at the gold? We will have to wait and see, but in the meantime, the era of SOE has just begun.